Well, I mean, I, I very much like P90 based my brand around being positive and always, you know, taking the glasses half full rather than half empty. So it's been difficult coming into that, seeing guys like Tyler One, who I followed for a long time, be so negative, but be so funny being negative. It's so entertaining being negative. And I'm saying, you know, I have to do twice as much stuff to do that. I could call out and cuss and be upset at everybody and be great entertainment, but it's not it's not really great entertainment. It's uh, It doesn't have a lot of depth to it. It doesn't really suffice in the long term. And I think that right now controversy pays. It always has in our media. Until that stops paying in America and worldwide culture, it is always gonna be something that you can get to the top on. The problem is when you build your pyramid, you build your house on controversy, what happens when there is no controversy? You either have to keep creating it or you have to actually have good content. You have to have quality underneath it all. So eventually people will rise, but they will fall. I think the streamers who, maybe got there on controversy, like Doc, maybe Tyler One, who still have good quality, who production value is incredible, who actually are entertaining streamers, good people at their heart, can make it. But for the majority of people trying to be controversial to get here, I don't think that's gonna work out for you in the long run.